we've got an existing contacts table here in the Acme Contact Manager, and we want to pull the contact information in from Salesforce. And when this information comes in, we want it to come back over here and update the contact information uh, in the original table. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing we have to do, and we're going to do this uh, by using a connected sync table. And what that allows us to do, let's call this uh, Salesforce contacts. And this is each one of these is a uh, contact. A single record is called contact. And we'll use a symbol like of a person and we'll say next. And Salesforce is the source we want to go out and get the information for. So I'm going to use my Salesforce connection here and sign in here. Let's see if I remember my uh, username and password. It's going to say sign in, sign in, sign in. Are you going to sign in, please? Please, please, please. So I guess I'm already logged in here, which is great. All right, so I would like contact information to come in. And so QuickBase will pull this information or at least populate it here. So now that we'll see the fields on the left side that are available, I might have information, some of it, all of it, we'll see. Um, well, I definitely have account and I have name and I have title, uh, lead source, phone, fax, mobile. There's a whole bunch of cool stuff in here. How about it's probably easier to say control A, drag all of this over here and then get rid of the ones that I don't want. Let's pull them back over here. Okay, I don't need the department one. Reports too, I don't need that one. I do have a lead source. Well, that'll be way down at the bottom. The ID in Salesforce is there. The owner, I don't need that one. I don't need the description. So I have name, title, phone, fax. I don't need the fax. Mobile, home, I don't need this one or this one. I think that those are the only fields that I really want. So I'm going to say next. So do I put a filter on them? No, I want all of them. So I'm going to say next. Do I want them all to match Salesforce exactly? Yes. So I'll say done. So it's going to go out to Salesforce and pull that information in and it will reside in this table. Now, our, remember our mission here is to take this data and import it into this table to update this data information over here. So how are we going to make that happen? Well, now that we're using sync to make this happen, we do not have a relationship between these. But what I want to do is use a webhook to come over here and import into CSV the information over here. Now let's take a look at the information we do have. And there is an ID in Salesforce. And it's called ID in Salesforce. So if we know what that, that number is, wouldn't that be awesome to call this the ID in Salesforce? <clears throat> Excuse me. So what we want to do is add a field over here that is, is, we'll call it ID in Salesforce. So let's go into one of these records in here. Right click. We'll add a field in front of this and we'll call it ID in Salesforce. Okay. And since it's an alphanumeric mixture, uh, I'm going to call it text. Now this is an important thing. This becomes the key field over here. We want this to be the key field over here, especially if we're updating this information. And this is the source, right? So what we want to do is, first of all, let's delete this data that's in this contacts table. And I'm going to go to a list all report so I can get at a function called delete these records and delete. And it wipes them all out. That means that there are no records in here, uh, which is right. Now, I'm going to go into settings because I want to, when I import the information and changes, I need a way of updating the record. But right now, the records are known by QuickBase's record ID, and that's not going to uh, work out. I want to use the ID in Salesforce as the key field so that when it finds itself, it will update that particular field. Now, since there are no records in there and there's no dupes or anything like that, no problem. I can change that key field. So now this information needs to come over and be imported into here. 
And so we've got this information. Let's see how we're going to make that happen. There is a functionality in QuickBase. If you come up uh, um, under settings, and we'll do this in an iterative way, it's called webhooks. And come to think of it, let's try this other system here. Do you see QuickBase Actions? I hadn't thought about this one. Let's see if, the, the, let's see if this one works out. I'm going to say, uh, whenever a record is added, modified, or deleted here, uh, I want to not modify. How about uh, just modified or added, added or modified? What I'd like to do is to add a record, right? Add a record. Let's see if we're going to make this happen in the Acme Contact Manager's contact table. So we are in the Salesforce one. Whenever a record is modified or added, we want that information to go and add a record into this table. And we are copying the value, uh, copy the old value from the ID Salesforce into the ID Salesforce. And uh, I've got to scroll down so you can get onto the page. I know it's a little off the page here. So, and then I also want to copy uh, the, the old value from the field account and make that into company. And forgive me, but it's going off the screen here. Maybe I can drag it down. Uh, I'm not able to drag it down here. Uh, maybe I can just bring it up. Let's see. Yes, I can. Okay, copy from account to company. We're copying uh, the old value from, uh, do we have name to name, contact, and what else? And uh, Let's just do a couple of these. Okay, we're going to do the old value from the phone to phone. Where's phone, 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 email title, best time to call. I, I don't know why I don't have that in here right now. But let's do um, the old value from email and put email in here. There. Those are all we're going to do. So we've got, this is the key field, if you remember, the ID to Salesforce. Account information coming from Salesforce will go into company name will go into contact and email will go into email so let's save this okay so this is listening i hadn't think a thought about using an action to be able to do this so um now i need to delete this data you can see over here contacts don't have any here so let's go into salesforce actually uh, to the home page why am i going to the home page well under settings I can delete all that Salesforce data by going into App Management and deleting data in which table? The Salesforce Contacts table. Yes. Okay, so let's go back. Notice we have nothing here, and we have nothing here. We go into Salesforce. We refresh the data. Let's see what happens. Hopefully that'll jump across and create the contact information using the QuickBase Actions. If it doesn't, what we can do is use the webhook functionality and make that happen. So we've created it here. Let's go over to Contacts. And it says we don't have any contacts right yet. So what happened with this? Let us look for that uh, action once again to make sure we've done this right. QuickBase Action. When? A record is either added or modified. I want you to add a record into the app. And it says looking for, okay, the Acme Contact Manager into the contacts table. Copy. Let's do copy the value from. Let's try that rather than old. And I'm not um, copy from and go into those fields. And let's click save. All right, let's try it again. Now, before I, uh, 
I've got to purge this data one, once again. So I'm going to go into Settings, go under App Management, go down to Delete the Data. And be careful here, you only want the Salesforce data to be uh, deleted so that we can reconfirm this data. So look, there's nothing in there. So, and there's nothing over here. So let's go back to Salesforce, refresh the data, and see what happens. So the data is going to be coming in as it uh, refreshes, and hopefully QuickBase Actions will have helped us out here. So we go back over here to Contacts, and what do we have? We have 20 contacts here, and Company, Contact. Now we didn't do Title uh, Phone, but we did Email, website best time to call so really this is a regular old table now if you uh, view a record like this and edit a record you can see that you can add extra fields in here and let's say it's I don't know just a different address here there Brooklyn uh, and we can change information like this and then save and as it changes in Salesforce sync will pull this data into Salesforce and then the action will come across here and update the contact records in this now the only gotcha here is this is something that needs to be known you need to know what that number uh, is if you ever add a new contact look what happens and let's say you put your own code in here it's a required field because this is what's being used to update the data from here over to here. So that's a, that's a way of doing it. There's also another way to do it using web, um, web hooks, but I don't see the necessity of it if, uh, if, if this works and does that process just fine. If you need access to turning on web hooks or uh, actions because you don't have it, uh, let us know and we'll see about uh, um, getting that turned on for you. It's presently in beta. So hopefully that addresses your question.